Okay, here's a quick video just showing the setup of my system here um, on the side of my house. This is kind of like the, the dead space in my house. Um, it's the side where you have your gas water system, your or electric if you've got it, your uh, switchboard, which you can kind of see through the fence over there, power board out onto the street. That's not a gate, that's a solid panel. Um, and this is basically the side of the house with the, the laundry and um, that window. There's my daughter's room. Um, as you can probably hear in the background, the neighbor's got a water feature, um, which I mentioned when I'm talking to people about how I can't hear the power wall because the water feature is a bit louder than that. But um, let's have a look. So this is my uh, Solar Edge inverter. It's the SE5000 model. It, um, you know, it's quite quite cool. That's the Wi-Fi aerial we don't move use anymore because of reposit. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, you've got. Uh, Bit of feed through data here about the system, um, connections to the reposit, just cycle through here, see what the battery is doing at the moment, there we go, it's charging, got a few devices running at the moment, here's the comm setup, and some of the, this is basically what's happening in terms of power flow at the moment. And I've got 20 panels on OK, and it can see the server OK. So um, we've got all the necessary switching and connections there. Um, that goes across to the SolarEdge storage interface, which is basically the interface to the battery. So it's kind of SolarEdge's battery primary controller, if you like. And then in addition to that, we've now got a reposit box. And uh, that's pretty cool. Lights up at night. It's got a a red LED back there lighting things up and that's my controller for selling grid credits um, it's the new boss of all this equipment and um, has a working relationship with the uh, with the solar edge gear basically keeps everything running and moves power in and out of the house